But what I'm thinking, whoops, and I'll put some pins down so we can sort of consider, is I'm thinking a campus here. Um, this will be, oh, it's doing the thing where it doesn't actually use the pins properly. Campus there, um, industrial zone there, um, and a obviously the, the industrial zone will come later. Um, a holy site here. Um, this one, two, three, that actually becomes a good spot for a commercial district over here. Or, or a harbor. I will not be building both in the cities because they don't both give um, a plus one trade route. So it's going to be build a commercial district here adjacent to the river, or we build a harbor, say, right there. The other thing to consider is whatever this city is going to do. Which I think what is going to happen is maybe this city will build the commercial site here, for example. Which sounds fine. Theater next to the window? Does the theater get a wonder adjacency bonus? Yeah, the theater does. And one thing to consider is can we cram multiple wonders next to that theater district? So if we say, built the theater there, can we wonder spam like here, maybe there? The Potato Palace has to be built next to a mountain, right? So that might be a possibility up there. So that's something to consider. Or the theater here, because then it just, well, it wouldn't get double district adjacencies, so I don't know. But if we did build another district here. Anyway, well, we'll keep those pins in for there. It's certainly not, um, you know, decided. Gorgo... You probably don't want peace. Oh, you will! You will white peace. You didn't offer it to me, but you will just white peace. So I'm going to go ahead and offer that. Because, you I mean, you're clearly not coming here, and now I don't have to worry about you being ridiculous. Seriously, though, like... We have many negative modifiers, and I don't know why. I mean, we're sort of close to each other, but not really. I hope I don't lose that warrior. We're start for art and sciences. Well, some of us didn't start with a bunch of free civics and techs, buddy. Oh my god! Well, on the bright side, Egypt is going to have a huge, huge problem. So that's good, because that's a shite ton of barbarians. Annoyingly, though, that was a promoted warrior, I think, too, so that hurts. Um, yeah, we may as well go and do the wine now instead of doing the chop. Although, this is a really good chop and would get us this settler a lot sooner. We don't have amenity limitations yet. And we're not going to want to build anything on the rainforest. You know what? I am going to chop this. Which gets us enough pop for the early thing, which is nice. It shaved, what, three turns off the settler? I don't remember if it was 11 or 12. Um, grows the city a bit more. No, I have no regrets. No regrets at all. We're going to need more builders. Unmet player defeated, unmet player defeated. I don't I may have forgotten to dismiss that, but I think that might actually be the third city state that's gone away. Who gets the bonus to fighting uh city states? Someone's got some sort of thing with that in Civ 6, don't they? I don't remember. No, you chill. You're going over there, you're going up over there to keep an eye on things. That's gonna be fine. No barbarian encampments that I can see at a glance, right? We'd still leave to grab this for the uh, natural wonder, but it might be a little tricksy. Germany. Ah, yes, Germany. Yeah, Egypt likes civs with large armies. Sparta likes civs who are constantly warring. Quill is trying to be a pacifist. Best neighbors ever. Well, we couldn't possibly have it be easy. Where would be the fun in that? Tiles, you working? Yeah, no, those are very legit. Very legit indeed. Halfway to our first envoy. We're in tourism already, you know, so that's a thing. Alright, you're going to chill there. Five turns to the settler. 
yeah, things will happen here. It's a good city. It's a very good city. In, in hindsight, since I couldn't get the, the, uh, the not the canal here, but the, I don't know, the waterway, um, I might have wanted to settle here first because of the stone and everything. But, that's all right. The other thing I might want to do is actually leave my units a little further south to catch the uh, Egyptian settlers. Although, what am I, I can't declare war on them to grab the, the unit. I'm not allowed. Ugh. Ugh, it hurts. It hurts. If I see a lone settler in the wilderness, I can't declare war on it to capture it. Based on the rules which I have determined for this game. Oh, it's such pain. Someone's created the oracle. So yeah, settler, settler. Ooh, there's classic era. And then I think what we're going to want to do is spam out some builders so that we can try to sneak out as many classic era wonders as we can while we get the boost to it. Um, you know, Great Lighthouse would be nice, for example. Improve 2C resources. We're a little far away from that boost. Terracotta army. I mean, we're going to want the Petra, obviously, but... Um, need a harbor district before we can build the Colossus. The water or the water mill will be really good for this city. Really good for this city. What are we closest to getting a boost from? I think you mine gypsum, so we could get the boost towards the wheel. The other thing to consider is, you know, how to get to the Petra as quickly as possible. So we have no iron, right? I don't think so. Because why would we have iron? That would never happen. What do we think? Gypsum's a quarry. Ah, poop. So we're not going to get a mine anytime soon. Next to me, next to a harbor. So both of these have to be next to harbor districts. Um, which means if we build it here, it has to be... Does, one is built at sea, one is built on the coast. So neither one of them becomes a good place for those wonders, which is too bad. Um, a harbor here actually wouldn't be bad at all. Because while the um, harbors and commercial hubs don't stack in terms of the trade units, they do stack, you get bonus gold from being adjacent. Um, but no, 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 because what we'd actually want to do is something like Great Lighthouse there and Colossus there. Yeah. Well, we might just have to hard research Celestial Navigation, because I don't see myself working under the sea resource in a while. So, I think we might do that. Now, I'm going to settle here first. Uh, in which case, you know what? Take the wheel. We're not going to mine anything forever. And I really will want a water wheel here. Water mill here. It's going to be huge with the wheat. And we want, we've got to get that before Hattusa expands on top of our wheat. So, yeah. We're going to go and prioritize that first. Great Lighthouse is on water as well. Oh! Oh! Is it? Thought it said... Oh, it must be built on the coast. Okay, okay, thank you. So then that's all right, because we could consider a lighthouse over here. I guess I saw adjacent on land and just, you know, didn't actually read. read. Um, oh, I already have... Whatever. There. Lighthouse. Colossus. Um, and yeah, so if we do a... Um, a commercial hub here, it gets plus two gold for being adjacent to a harbor. So even though we wouldn't get to stack up on our trade routes, that would be a pretty rich little location. And at least these borders aren't at risk of expanding any further this way. So we're, because there's no resources here, I suspect anyway. Oh, this is going to be a really hard game. This is going to be a really hard game. Our neighbors suck so bad. God, why do they suck? Alright, so you're going to try to produce that settler. You're still working on that monument very slowly. 
really need to get some districts up. Oh, my state workforce is too far ahead. Um, foreign trade. Get us a trade route. Pop that. Rename you to... Macalian. Macalian. Um, now, do we want to start getting up some ancient walls? No, I think what we need to do is get the monument up and running as soon as possible. Because I don't really have the money to buy these tiles. Now, Hattusa's borders won't grow until people start investing in them. So it should be alright. How are we doing, great people? Okay. I mean, mostly we're going to want to save the faith until we get to, um... Uh, theology over here to unlock the temple. Of course, we need, you know, holy districts and stuff for that first. We got a lot of boost in the next levels, which is nice. Buy the wheat tile. If Hattusa does expand, it's almost certainly going to grab the wheat. Okay, you know... Yeah, let's do it. It's for the best. Alright, 15 turns to this guy, although it'll be a little short... Well, no, about 15. We'll get there. That's going to be fine. Do we want to change what tiles you're working? You get a little bit more faith if you're working that, but the production is good. You're still not working all the food, but the production's probably fine. I mean, I suppose I could do something like that. You'd grow in five turns. You know what? I am going to keep you locked. That's going to be fine. And you for the production. I'll actually rate the production a little higher than the faith. So more food, more production, and then, yeah, you're going to get that. That's going to be okay. A level 39 nerd, you're going to be working reasonable tiles, so that's going to be okay. And over here, you're going to work that, which is fine. Then we'll start getting some improvements. So, yeah, after this, um, I mean, we could use monuments and granaries over here, but I think Philosaurus is actually going to be, like, builder, builder. We'll just delay that archer. Uh, I will look elsewhere in the future. Now, I would like to settle on the coast here, but I don't think I'm going to rush it. I think I'm going to go to city number four over here, and then I'm going to have to sort of chill a little bit, get those builders out. Because A, we need to improve the tiles, and B, I want to be able to spam some goddamn wonders. More courses? Um, yeah, you're right. A little bit more growth. We we'll want the faith, but we don't need to worry about it quite yet, so we're going to be all right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, actually, I will move out over this way to keep an eye on things. Maybe do a little bit of fog busting right over there, rather than keep the warrior in the city. And maybe I'll move this archer out here, too. It'll give us a little bit more vision about what might happen. We get some amount of warning. Being in the forest, you should be okay. It depends on how much she rushes through here. Although this rough terrain will make it hard for her to move through as well. So the wheel, I think, is just going to hard research. We've got literally nothing mineable here unless we get up to the silver, which isn't really viable. So, yeah, we're going to just hard research the wheel. Boom. Two production greater than one food. But, I mean, we're still getting... Oh, you're saying over here. Um, I really wanted to shave a turn off, or quite a few turns off the growth. So now we're still one turn away from the growth, and I'm feeling a lot better about that. So I'm fine with this. So you're going to go into alert mode. That's going to be fine. No one's moving over here. There's, again, that natural wonder here, which would be really great to grab. Which actually, if you think about this city, this becomes... Um, uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to go here. I want to add a pin and say right there. Um, I'm going to click it and then set it at that point. Uh, Holy Sight here would be good because it would be adjacent to two natural wonder tiles. Oh, so if we can get Charles Darwin this game, it would be huge. Because he could pop for a lot of science. 12 turns away to that settler. I don't know. Maybe we want to do this. Then it would mean not holding our promise to Egypt, though. I don't know. I think we'll just have to eat it. You need some improvements. How much money do I have? Nowhere near enough for a builder. Still be about Darwin. So apparently that's been fixed in the um, the Australia patch. Apparently they fixed it so that great people will work with the wonders that were added in the the Viking expansion. I guess the way it is.
All right, you're gonna denounce me. Then you'll be able to formal war me soon. Which you're probably gonna be eager to do. Be nice if other people started hating on like Egypt for declaring these wars, but I mean the AI. Uh, okay, I fulfilled my promise to the Russian Empire. Well, there you go. He does have his own religion, which might lead to some conflict. Westernizer. Oh yes, you don't like people. Mm hmm. No, you hate me right now. That's too bad. I'm sorry. I'm not in a war. God. I'm sorry. Oh, she's gonna hate me forever. God damn it, Sparta. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. Alright, wheel done. Well, I guess we're gonna start working our way towards the Petra. We don't want a lot of wonders over there, but the Petra is obviously going to be the most important one, right? Exactly. Um, you know what? Just finish foreign trade. Let's get a trade route up. We're not going to discover another continent for a bit, probably. All right, you've got your monument, which is great. Your housing uh, is a little capped. Um, so I'm tempted to go granary, but I think the thing to do actually is to get a builder. Wow, your production rates are terrible. Um, a builder so we can improve your tiles, which will actually give you a little bit more housing at the same time. You have your settler, then you're going to go into builder spam. Oh, this is going to be so rough without being... Like, what I would have done, think about what would have happened here. Twice now Egypt declared war on me. Twice I could have just taken her cities. In fact, I probably could have just gone straight to her capital. She didn't have walls yet. I could have just easily gone and taken all her stuff. We'd have this entire continent would belong to us right now. If I didn't decide to play with a pacifist trait. Think how much like of a difference that makes. It's huge. Now these are both floodplains, you know. I mean, I could go here, but no, I think here's better. Ultimately, more desert tiles to petra up. So yeah, we'll stop currency halfway through. We'll do this. Uh, if we're really lucky, we may be able to just buy a trade unit. We're not making a ton of cash. There you there you there. Is that process called petrification? Oh, <laughs> terrible. You're so bad. All right, currency. Yeah, see, the, the pop-up's a little inaccurate. We definitely want to research at least one more turn. <clears throat> In fact, a little bit more. Settlers in place here, good. So yeah, I'd like to keep my promise to Egypt to not settle near her, but we may, we may just have to. Um, found city. So you're not going to be Beijing. You are in fact going to be... <laughs> you're going to be too drunk to! Too drunk to. And what are you going to build? Um, you are going to have to get a monument for some border expansion right now. Or the early water mill. I mean, I know you don't have any wheat or rice, but it still gives you some production. No, no. Monument for the borders. Oh, we'll have to send you a builder. Yeah, it'd be great to grab that spot, but I think the most important thing right now is going to be to pop out a couple of builders and maybe get started on some districts. Like, we have none yet. It's not too shabby yet. Okay, so foreign trade is done. I am going to get... I think we're actually going to keep what we've got. Because I expect another land war. We could switch over to maritime industry so we can quickly build a couple of galleys to A, explore, and B, um, get, a, get a boost towards something, which we are going to want. 
I still have the archer in the queue, and if uh, Egypt declares war on me, I'll probably appreciate having this. I think keeping Ilkum is still the way to go. Although we have enough cities... No, we've got two of them working on builders, so it is going to be fine. And I say we got enough cities that urban planning might be better. I think we are going to keep this. That way, if Egypt declares war on us, we can pop up more archers a little faster. So, that's going to be okay. Um... We're going to go to... I guess we'll grab early empires. We really want to grab this. We're going to want to grab mysticism before we choose our religion, because we're going to want... Oh, no, we don't need great profit points. We are going to want the great scientist points as quickly as possible, though. So I don't think it matters what order we do things in. So it's going to be this, into that. Yeah, and then hopefully we'll have a district pop this automatically. We'll see how it goes. So we got a trade route. So how much does it cost to build a trade route? To buy a trade route. 360. Eh, that's going to be a while. I do need the builders. I really want a trade route, though. Uh, Currency is at the right place to switch out. So I'm going to do that. I think... It actually, while I do need the builders, the sooner we get a trader unit, the better. So after you build the builder, get a trader up and running. It'll shave half to turn off currency, which is nice. I don't think any city-states need anything, but we can get some internal growth in our empire. And that would be damn lovely. We might base it out of too drunk, too. Just to get it to grow a little bit faster. Um... That's going to go away. That can go away. Probably we build the Petra right here. They're so small. There's the Petra. Probably we do that. And this time I'm not trolling. I do want to build it up here. If there was ever a game for it. Oh, what just got built? What just got built? Terracotta Army. Okay, that's fine. Egypt's got their chariot arch that's over here. So a war with Egypt may be coming any second. I'm going to put you back in there. Um, I would love to go and improve the territory down here, but I'm actually worried about these units. So instead, what I think I'm going to do is I will send you up north to start doing some improvements over here. Because we need two drunk two to get a little bit of a kickstart. I start bringing this warrior back. And too drunk to, I'm going to bring the archer down this way. It is a damn shame that we lost that warrior to the um, barbarians over here. It would have been really handy to have right now. Now, he might just be exploring around that chariot. It's possible. Yeah, we might be fine. I'll still move some things down here, though. So trader that's coming in, researching this. Celestial Navigation, I think we're going to be stuck hard researching it. Even though it's disappointing. Yeah, the borders are going to be open until we get the early Empire's tech, actually. And that's going to close up our borders. As we come here and get a little bit of vision. Maybe there's no invasion force coming. Have to keep an eye on Ahutusu in case... Oh, Egypt is their suzerain. See? For exactly that reason. Because if we're in a war against Egypt, they could come here and take uh, Mikhailian. McKillian. That would be very sad making. I'll park you in the city to give it more defensive strength then. Oops. Housing, yes. You need orders. Okay. So, you're here right now. So, yeah, I think you're going to go farm, quarry, mine, mine. And that's going to be okay. Too Drunk 2 really only has one viable tile right now, until it does get the Petra. But luckily, we can spam the hell out of the, uh, the builders to get the Petra up faster. So that's going to make a big, big, big difference. Uh, okay, we don't have enough money to buy a trade route, but that's okay. We're going to build the trade route. You're coming in. You're, we're probably just going to hard research you. She's got a trade route internally. Now she can move through the jungle a little sooner. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. 
With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear. That's a very silly quote. Trying to decide if we're going to make any changes to our policies. And I think the answer is yes. I think we're only building one builder now. I mean, we might build another one, Philosaurus. Although, I'm actually tempted to potentially build a settler there and go over here. So, what I'm thinking of doing is I think I'm going to switch out of Ilkum now. And we're going to go to Urban Planning. We've got four cities. Only one's building a builder. One might build a settler, but plus one production everywhere I think is going to be our best bet short term. I think Goji is still fine because it gives us the ability to spam out a military if something does come up. Alright, so you've got that, which is great. We're going to hook up our first luxury, which is going to be a thing. Why not try for the pyramids? It would be nice. But we can't, we can't simultaneously get every wonder in the game. So choose what our priorities are. Now, my Pantheon, is it just stone or is it any quarry? Oh no, plus two faith from any quarry, including the gypsum here. God damn. God damn. When are you going to grow up 19 turns? Yeah, it'd be nice to get a chop and a mine on that. I don't think I'm going to buy the tile, though. Um. Okay, we're going to do that. And then Philosaurus might start on its settler for that spot over there, because it would be huge to grab that. Uh, but then we got to build some military units. Okay, Mahabadi Temple. I think I'm going to finish this archer. So I think the trade route's going to come out of too drunk too, so it can get the biggest benefit. Yeah, we're just going to mine these tiles. I mean, unless I build the commercial hub there, right? Which I think was one of the ideas. Assume I can build it on there. Does it have any weird restrictions? Not that I can tell. We might build a commercial hub here. So let me put a pin for that, because I did actually have the pin, it just wasn't um, allocated to anything. Um, because that would actually be a pretty rich one. It would be four gold, two from being next to a river and two from being next to the harbor, which is pretty good. So I'll just mine these other two hills, which won't be the most useful right now, but it's still going to be okay. So you're going to do that. We'll get some settlers and a couple other things, and then what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to Ilkum and have like all four cities build builders. Don't forget to build the Outback Stations. I know! It would be such a great location for the Outback Stations. In, oh, what was it? Like, right over here, huh? Oh, God, so good. Okay, McKaylin, I definitely want you to get a water mill. I mean, you're, we're still going to need builders to improve this, but we'll do this for now until we've got the outcome. Okay, trade route's going to come out of here. No one's going to need demand for anything. Um, we're not going to run to an Egyptian city because it would be too dangerous. Um, we get money from this, which isn't bad, but I think we're going to go for the plus one production. So I will just run you to the capital. It's got the shortest um, length. It'll get us a trade uh, hub or whatever the building is called. Um, the market. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. The thing you build when you complete a trade route in the center of our uh, of our little um, empire, so it's going to be a great location for it. There's quite a bit of hills here, so if Drunk 2 wants to build anything, you get to the front a little sooner. Everything else is pretty flat. I kind of like this. Bam. There's our boost towards currency, which completes that. If it does not bring you... Um, which means I can now leave celestial navigation be for now because we don't actually have to rush it and we can instead start on mathematics although we're very far away from the boost on that and it would be really nice to do it you need three different specialty districts which is pretty damn tricky you know it'd be a little easier is if we could actually build the harbor to get that going so i don't know we'll see 